Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Ash Team Podcast. I'm Jack Wellington, and joining me this week, as usual, this um, so Mike Heaton's in, and um, <laughs> as you can tell, and uh, hopefully, just if you probably noticed already, the sound quality has improved by tenfold because of uh, some magic tricks I've been doing. It's only took me about four months to properly get the sound down properly, but we're there now. So uh, that's going to be improved, and it's going to help later on in September when we start doing other stuff. Wearing it, Mike. Yeah, I'm back. Let's see, honestly. Um, coming up on this one. And, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to ask, how are you? You're all right. I'm not be honest with you, I'm actually. Excuse me, I'm actually quite happy. Uh, I'm all right this week, yeah. It's a good week. Um, okay. You got that new calendar in. <laughs> oh, obviously, yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. That, that's the that's... lady boy trying to call that. Ah, yeah, you got the fireman's calendar the uh, twenty fifteen already. Who so writes a photo for you? <laughs> oh, He's such a nice guy. Though, right? uh, <laughs> oh, but. Um... Well, I'll buy the police chief one, I'll probably the ambulance crew one for you, mate, don't worry. I'll sort it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been talking before people about best man and stuff like that. Oh. Maybe that's why I can organise you be a stag and just fire me. <laughs> you do that. Imagine right? the amount of jokes you could come up with. <laughs> nice hose you got there. <laughs> <laughs> you just imagine that, like, later on in life. Hey, Dad, how was your stag do? What the stag do, so, uh, you know, it was a great night, you know, your dad had, <laughs> your, had your dad had male strippers, they can feel like it was to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, who organised it? Oh, well, uh, funny enough, Mikey asked me to do it. It's like that in the background, so, hey boys, I just need a favour for half an hour, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, Oh, People, God. as you know, we this is the last time that we're going to do this, unless we do some sort of Premier League thing. I don't know, but Boys. we've been, as you know, the last month we've been doing World Cup predictions. Um, if you're been. wondering, yeah, if you're wondering, we've already I've predicted. Already done it FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> we already predicted the third place playoff. Uh, we both got Holland to win, and sure enough, they won three nil. Mm-hmm. Neither of us got the right score. I was only one goal out. Uh, I say one, no. You said 2-1. <laughs> I said 2 nil. And uh, we've both gone with Germany to beat Argentina. But because there's only one match left, it would be a, it would make sense now to count up the results and see who is going to win this. Um, it might take about 5-10 minutes. It's dependent on the score, is it? Um, it's the score and it's the correct score line gets you a pound. Can I just say right something? You could have done this before the podcast. No, no, I thought it'd be, it'd be a nice thing to put in before we go on to other stuff. Something. I'll do a question of the week then. And we got a, I've got a tribute to do anyway. So. Oh, uh, thing yeah, I don't know what you mean. Um, oh, I'm the. the thingy for Madrid, he's the chief detective. No, oh, not yeah. him. Um, oh. It's Stefano, not him. No. Although he's a wonderful player. Yeah. It's someone God, else. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, I'm um, just going to go through the group matches, because I, I tallied them up. So, in... Alright, it's in group A. You got three quid. I got four. Ooh, group A, boy. That's proven to be not too bad for me. Group B. Two one to me. So that's six four. Yeah. Uh, group C. Group C was very low scoring for those. In fact, you won that one now. That's how bad it was for those. Why well, uh, was the game on one? Uh, Japan versus Ivory Coast. Oh yeah, I remember that that's one. The one game. And they scored in the last. Bloody minute. <laughs> Bro, if they won, if they won and they got the score line, 
No, you only got the one. You didn't get the scoreline right. I did. I said 2 1 to Ivy Coast. 2 0. But I fucking said 2 1. Nil. I said 2 1. You wrote this. I have not changed this since. I'm not that type of person. You said 2 0. We can go back to the original podcast and listen to it if you're that bothered about it. <laughs> 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 uh, group D. Oh, I got that one. Five. It's only one point, no, mate. It's only so one. So I'll put it on seven five here. Uh, yeah. So far, you've got five. You've got seven. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I have, yeah. Seven five. Group E. Oh, we've got group B. You yeah. got four. Yeah. I got three. So that's. Six eight. No, you have five. Add yeah. three is eight. Add. <laughs> you had you had two more than me. You had seven. I just got three. This is ten. Uh, ten each. Ten, 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 ten each. Ten each. Nine. Nine eight. Nine eight. Oh, I'm right on your heels, lad. I'm dragging you back down. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good repeat, then. Uh, 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 so nine four. eight. Group D was the group of death way. No. Four three to me. Oh you are oh! joking! Thirteen eleven, he's two quid all. This is only the group stage as well. Group G. Two two. Ooh. So it's fifteen thirteen now. This is getting quite decent. Group H. This is the bit where it goes all downhill for me, isn't it? Page four, three, two, no. Five, three to you. Yes! Get in this one! So it's 18 each. 18 each after the group stages. <laughs> it all comes down to this glass 16, the quarters, the semis, and the third place play. We don't know about tonight. Well, last 16, I beat four, three. How? Uh, the right score line I got for one of them put me on the two. It was um, I predicted Colombia to beat Uruguay two 0 and he put two one. Oh, that extra pound puts me in front. Nah. It's now twenty two twenty one. Come on then. Going into the quarters. Three one to me. How's it three one to you? Give me the fucking paper. Right. Wait, no, I don't believe you in your pieces. You've got accountants. Give me the paper. Wait, three. Quarter finals. Go through each point. Quarter finals, wait. Actual 2 1. 2 1. Yeah, but you got it the wrong way round. 2 1. 3 1. Yeah. 1 0. Yeah, you got 1 0. One nil. One nil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense now when you read it. So that puts me 4 quid in front. Oh no, 3 quid in front. Stop, stop. And then the second, and then the semi-finals. Oh, you got one. Yay! I got none, so it's two, and two quid up. And we both got Brazil versus Holland, so going into the final game, you're two quid down. We've both predicted it. No, no, it's not even over yet. If you get the right scoreline, it's only a quid. If I get the right scoreline, it's three quid. See, if I give you a quid now, because I'll have to give you a quid now, right? Depend on the score, I have to give you the two quid. You give me two quid now. Fuck off, one quid! Depend if I get the right score. If right? you get the right score. What's the score right? I've right got two nil, you've got three one. <laughs> the first thing is if I get the right score and you owe me enough. <laughs> That's not bad though, that free. I mean, I would have bought it with like three quid. <laughs> considering a lot of yours, bear in mind. Well, last minute goals they put you back in this. So whoever scores for me, and if you listen to this podcast, I <laughs> fucking love you. So in, in, in all fact, do you know how much I lost from last minute goals? Probably ten. Eight quid. I'd have won by ten quid, but last minute goals saved you from having to pay yeah. in the full max. You can just splash on my nose. Oh <laughs> fuck your nose! What about my nose? Oh well done. Go and get a tissue. <laughs> Go and get a tissue. Go and get one. Go, just be bloody careful. Oh, wait, let me 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mikey Keaton is a dribbler. Oh no! <laughs> wow, he's he's just open chocolate milkshake, right, people? And it's all it's gone all down his shirt, and it's on his shirt, and it's on my flipping bed sheet as well, which is annoying. Quickly, Mikey, before it dries. <laughs> That's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Dab, dab, dab. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, 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 potato chip. Yes, yes, potato chip. Just clean the bar. Potato chip. That's what you do, you dip it. And if it's coughing, so you don't like rub it or anything because it rubs into the tail, you dip it. I did. I did. I ate the chip. Right, anyway. Yeah. You clean that up now. My, my you look like you've like you, yes, but at a really weird angle. Yeah, like... <laughs> in fact, it looks like it, in fact it's such it's such to a shape, people. It looks like if you were to pull his pants, they'd rip in that way. And that looks what it looks like for me. Do you, it's like do you clean your car with a hose pipe or something? No, and you don't cast the hose pipe in time. Like you, the pressure is like you're throwing it everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> it's like you've got. One of them for the cop. <laughs> <laughs> this is the helicopter, ladies. <laughs> but um, the Mikey Express incoming, yeah. <laughs> Where you been? Um, you could have just put shot. Sure. All right, you're gonna sit down. Then. I'm gonna just people. Um, there has been some um, deaths in the news this week. Obviously, we've mentioned the Stefano, the great Real Madrid, like. Won five European cups. Uh, back when it was the Jack. Three. What? Yeah, she, she had a bath for three. Oh, yeah, she bathed yeah, yeah, yeah. in the clean three of them when she was having a bath. Yeah, it's, it's not. But the one thing that people will know more than Stefano, apart from football, or people who are football, or footballers, is uh, the band called the Ramones. You've heard of the Ramones? Mm-hmm. You'll know one song. And then. Um, Tommy Ramone passed away this week, the last oh, yeah, surviving the member of the Ramones. Um, 62. Was he 62? 62. 62. Um, like back in the day, I was in the car. He's quite old there, but you open the think That's, that's, that's the quite young. young. No, isn't it? It's died. That... Like the old tours, that was like a hundred. That's in eight. That's in oh, like you 90s, get to, like... Even if you say 70, it's still quite young. Mm. But, um. Uh, yeah, he co-founded the Ramones in 1974 in New York. Everyone had the last name of Ramon, even though they were never actually related to any of them. They just all named themselves like that. Um, just trying to see how... What the hell's his real name then? Um, not, I don't know, actually. Oh, I do, I, I do know, but I can't remember what it is. But, uh... Wait, first you robbed two quid off me. The dodgy betting, right? And then you can't even get your information right. God, typical. Do you know the amazing? Do you know the amazing thing is like now the Ramones are remembered for like being a fucking legendary band. Back in the day, probably. But the thing is, they never had a song that hit the top forty. The top forty, never mind top ten, top forty, and yet that nowadays the most popular song is Blitzkrieg Pop, which everybody knows. The awesome, yeah, not really. Oh, you will when you hear it. Uh, I could actually play it now. Just very briefly. Just nip it on. So that you know what it is. Um, have you ever played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? Because that was on it. Which one? Uh, the third one, the best one. No, I mean, yeah, I played... <laughs> there it was again. Nah! <laughs> I played the <laughs> <laughs> No, I played the next one, the night me you and thingy there. Um, which one was that one? Like, you know, when you go like, you can make your own character. Then you'd be going like, yeah, that was your black first character. No, but like, when you, it was a, like, when you, you could just like, become a bit of a missile and like, you flap your arms like, oh, you know, oh so you mean that's a skate, that's not anyone. Oh. This, this I is... thought that was good, to be fair, I quite enjoyed it. But... You'll know it in a minute, if you don't. If you don't know it already, then I'm just amazed. It's a great song. 
oh, let's go, and oh, let's go. I knew you'd know it, because everyone remembers that bit. Right? Let's go, we're falling in a tin line. You're going through a tight one. What are you doing when you're in a tin line? What are you doing when you're in a tin line? What are you doing when you're in a tin line? Hey, oh, let's go. <laughs> that was brilliant, I'll give you that. Oh, wow. So there you go, boys. If you ever go to a strip club, go, hey, ho, oh, let's go. But um, rest in peace to the guy, because I think he, he died of a, I, think, I don't know if it was a cancer or something. Um, got him. Heart, yeah, something to do, I know arrest. it's to do with his heart, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, it's called Boss Face. Yeah. Because it's a very guy, was. But, yeah, I'm going to and there was I Love You Baby as well, which is another good song of hers. But, um, a, you know, a, a leading light. The people, the band that founded punk rock have now all gone. They, they, they toured non-stop for years and then they quit in 94 or 93. And then within 20 years of them stopping, all of the band members died. Do you think I, that's because life's caused it, Lee? No, I call it a conspiracy. <laughs> See, I... Illuminati. 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 But, um... Nah, but still, you know. I feel fun. It's just, it's just life, man. Well, yeah, it is, it is. One day you can feel great, next you just feel like shit in your hospital gear and you get your guff cut off because you're having an autopsy or something. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was so graphic. He <laughs> was just like, well, I'm done with the world now, so I might as well let it even burn. <laughs> Not really, is it? Because it's the truth. If you die, it'll explain death. It might be cut you open. Yeah, they do. autopsy. But to be honest with you, most deaths are pretty much unexplained apart from shootings and stabbings. But there's a big thing over there, Kirk and Bay, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Some people actually reckon it was his wife. Not yeah, and him. some people think, like, Elvis Presley died on the toilet. He, he died did. by the toilet. <laughs> That's the thing, people. We all know we had a mac and cheeseburger though. Oh! Okay, don't don't join in with me there. Jack. I ain't, I ain't. So I'm not going with it. But um, don't sue the mac and cheese. A, a leading light of the punk rock world is now gone, sadly. But um, the music will live on because it's just brilliant. So I'm not a big fan of punk rock people, but the, the stuff that they did was quite good. Um, I'm going to move it on now to uh, some. Uh, even some business news that even Mikey would be interested in. And um, Mikey, you know if someone makes, you know, shares and everything. Well, if you make shares and they rise of about maybe 100% to 200%, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It depends on what you hear. If you're a small business. If you're a small bit. Oh, you are an uttered weave. Stop mm -hmm. messing with my cool wall. Well, um, it depends because... Uh, um, the fluctuation within the market, because it can change every so often, I think. Yeah, but I was just, just not saying that. Uh, I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, don't well, bring in any... In general, for a small business, that's really good. So, a thousand, you'd be like, what? That's impossible, but... It's not possible, it? No, but even you'd be like, wow, that, that's amazing for the Yeah. Company. Why don't you try 23,000%? Yeah, yeah, you Should heard that. Again? Yeah, 23,000. Sync Technology shares suspended after surging 23,000%. This is this is amazing little story. This I, I found this only a couple yesterday. And um, yes, it was um, Sync, Sync Technology's main web property is a website that is a, it's called a social marketplace. Mm. So it's kind of like a social media thing, but it's a social network at the same time, and Mike's just dropping everything. Because he's in the like, Drop the bass. <laughs> Drop the bass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all do the bra print. And um, uh, apparently, yeah, the US Securities and Exchanges Commission, the SEC, suspended trading in sync technology after shares in a little known social network for uh, more than 23,000% in the last month. Is the thing. Did you know it gets even better? Documents show the firm which is registered in Nevada with an office in Belize City, 
and Belize, which is a very No, I wouldn't have thought of that, you know. Possibly in Canada or something, Belize City. <laughs> well, you, you've got to. But people have got to know, because not everyone is as clued up. Because, honest, people probably haven't even heard of the country Belize, to be honest. I uh, don't yeah, know. This is brilliant, this. Which is registered in Nevada with an office in Belize. Mm. Have no revenue and one employee. Well, what? Yep, you heard that right. One employee and no revenue. And yet the shares have hit the 23 pounds. Yeah, that means. Now, you could say fiddling. <laughs> but, but the thing is, the network, they've been looking into it. They don't know who's done it. Because it's not the. It's not. This um, sync technology, they don't know whether it's the actual system itself that is messed up or someone's been doing it from the other end. So basically, this company has got one employee is sitting there going, You've got 23,000 percent off, but they haven't now because it's been frozen. But they must have been thought, How are we getting the money? <laughs> We've got no revenue. I'll sell it. But um, they've been stopped, they've been halted from trading until the 24th of July. And then. Uh, Stop Mark asking after me that people. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it will happen. Shares in sync jumped from 6 cents in early June to $13.90, which is £8.11 mm. on Thursday. That's two thousand cents. So it's awesome. And it makes it even better. Have a guess how much the firm's worth now. If it if they haven't noticed all that. Probably about a million pounds. No, you're so far out. A million hundred mil. Some type. Yeah. Four billion. <laughs> Dude, do me a favour, sell the business. I'm like live in Mexico or I don't know. Just slightly above the valuation of the airline JetBlue. Amazing, isn't it? I think I'm trying to tell airlines. Sync billed itself as a development stage company, and the firm's main website, Intrabiz.com, is described as a marketplace where one may buy the both and sell the ability to socially connect to individuals such as celebrities, business owners, and talented IT professionals. How? How? <laughs> I just think it's amazing that 23,000 percent on what? Uh, oh, awesome. And the fact they don't know. <laughs> Introducing America's new. <laughs> um, oh, what's it called? The new one. Well, I don't know what the Bank of America. <laughs> it's like Director General <laughs> sort of thing going on. Doesn't so that? Not... Doesn't that? Like when you see Director General. It's an actual general. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Now in the Americans. No, no. For the ours. Speaking of governments. Oh, we're not talking politics. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're going to like this. No, I'm not bothering. And, and people, this is the first time, and probably the only ever time you're going to hear me say this. David Cameron has got something right. And here it comes, here comes Mikey. Sorry, this is the end of the podcast, guys. You know? <laughs> no, no, generally. Uh, no. When you hear what he's Sorry. doing. What did you just say? When you hear, no, what no, you sit, down, sit down, sit down, sit down. When you, say, no, uh, sit down, what sit down. Let say? me explain my point. And then you you'll be like, say? yes. You freeze your point. Sit down. Mind. No, oh, he has. No, he has. Oh, what's he done? What's he done, Jack? Can I make you put a couple of quid in your pocket? No. He's fucking out. No. Let's give you a little air. Can I just sit down? Don't ever fucking say. And when you hear me. what he's doing, you're gonna love it. Most races could be held on public roads. <laughs> You've just shut up then, haven't you? He is bringing the street races back. We used to have a Birmingham Grand Prix, and in back in the eighties, they're bringing it back. He's allowing the uh, local authorities the power to stage motor races on public roads, which means essentially we could even have a Wirral rally. That's how good it could be. Does that mean we could have a weekend of the races? That means we could just have Just loads a of people could just tear up. It's got to be officially announced. But what this means now, people, is that 
the revenue is going to go skyrocketing through the roof. It's a cracking move. You can't deny it. It's it's good for us because we love cars. And the Birmingham Super Grand Prix is going to be great at that point. And then we're going to go for the next one, should we? You'll think I have a box special around the <laughs> Oh, this. Hey. Oh, look at him in his DC of Sandino. He's with his little power. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it said, um, it said the process could take about 18 months to get everything sorted, which is fair enough, because you've got to go through the whole ballsy bollocks that you've got to go through to get to it. Yeah, but um, there are, there are only sort of individual races that are allowed, the New Brighton Rally is one of the special ones that are allowed to do it every year. Mm. Yeah, the Jim Clark Rally is another one. And a couple of others as well. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. Do you know why, though, this is all started up? Again. Why? Because it's all the fans. It's. I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna start this again, no. It's not for four rich bastards on a bike, that's they're not, all it they're is. Not, they're not that rich. Yeah. They're not like. They're not like footballers, dickheads. I know. They actually have a character. Yeah, you might have a character, but what I don't get is, why? Yeah, why would you want to put your dick and your balls with so much pain on a fucking bike when you can jump in a car, have ten times the fun, burn some rubber? The thing is, Mike, though, the thing is, if you, you're saying that, see, people, this is, this is, it's so square, it's on another level. The thing is, wow, yeah, you first called me rounded, and now you're calling me square. Yeah, I'm calling you square. The... Do you know why? Because you, for some reason, your point of view is like, you say, I don't see the point in cycling. People don't see the point in cars. People don't see the point in racing. They don't see the point in football. They don't see the point in rugby. They don't see the point in anything. Everyone thinks that. Everyone thinks everything hey, else. You can't just say hey, one thing hey, and go, nah, you hey. can't be doing with it. No, it's my point of view. And yet, you and can't, yet. No, you can't have to go with my point of I'm view. I'm not going to go with I'm the fact. I don't know why people want to fucking... I know. Fuck the foot race. What, would you sit on a seat, yeah. go 200 on Kilometers? Kilometers. <laughs> Ray, would you sit there, Ray? With Nicole Schwarzenegger by his side. <laughs> you finished taking the piss out of him, not? No, I'm not, because... No, it's not, I'm not being funny. The last thing I would want to do is to jump on a back. That's okay, you, people that enjoy it, fair enough. That's you, don't. And yeah. That's, uh, but that's, that's what I'm saying, is... if they like doing it. Let them do it. Well, don't Crit- criticise them for doing it. I That's the thing. You them. are. You've just. You've literally just gone. I don't see the point. I don't like doing it. I won't want to do it. Just. Yeah. That's why it's point me. That's why I'm saying I wouldn't do it. It's like I listen to you when you talk about stuff that I don't like, but I go, I'll listen to it. Whereas I say something like people, it's and he just goes I'm into his. Oh myself. well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our new presenter next week, Matty Morris. <laughs> Do a better job. <laughs> but um, no, I think that's a good thing. Now it's going well. Am I dead yet? No. <laughs> oh, I don't think you could do a London Grand Prix though, even though everyone's been wanting to do it. Why? Shit. <laughs> see, see people. See, this is just. This is what oh, I. That's a problem. <laughs> you love me really. I don't know, but for sake, mate. <laughs> well, um, I'm moving on. Oh, I don't know, sir. You know, you know, you know, yeah. people who take selfies as well. Oh, fuck. Bunch of Muppets, aren't they, really? Oh, Even though oh, we can both I'm agree. I'm to get arrested. Let me, fair, let me take a selfie. <laughs> and he's just like, go die in a well. You just feel like, just get the sniper rifle, just put them in the, in the crosshairs and go, yeah. should I waste 20p on this bullet? Yeah, put yeah. Into their temple? But, um, you know what? No, I'm gonna. Just... But the one thing you do like is naked selfies. I know that for a fact. No, that's quite a debatable. <laughs> <laughs> every no, man, that, every, every man goes. You know what? This is this not is, too bad. It's not half bad, yeah. And this this thing popped up in the news on Friday. Yeah, naked selfies extracted from factory reset phones. Would you like me to read in? <laughs> Can I have a look at your last one, please? <laughs> no, there's no pictures. <laughs> but, um, this is the BBC, you got to remember. Oh, and BBC. Old, apparently, thousands of pictures 
a lot including naked selfies have been extracted from factory wipe phones by the Czech, Re Czech Republic security firm. I don't want anyone to say Can I just say something? If it's a Czech Republic security service. First things first though, just before you say that, Mikey's thinking, hmm, Czech birds, yes. <laughs> 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 That's what's going on in his head. Nah, um, is this in the Czech Republic, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but they're not all like from Czech Republic phones. That's what it looks like. No, they're all, all over the world, yeah. Firms called in um, Avas use public available forensic security tools to extract the images from second hand phones bought on eBay. Don't trust eBay people. I don't know why people still buy stuff in there. Unless unless it's a vehicle. No, not even if it's a vehicle. Go to auto trader. No, but unless it's like um no uh, Unless it's got buy now on it. Yeah. Or, That's the only thing I or, or if, if it's a game or something. Or if it says, Smack it, Joe! <laughs> yeah, Smack it, Joe. PST, man. Or, uh, Dip Dip Potato Chip Song. Man, man, it it gets worse, you know. Because other data extracted includes emails, text messages, and Google searches. So, if it's going to be naked, so it's going to be porn, porn, porn on the Google search. I think it's fair to say you could actually easily tell if you want to see them there. <laughs> you can tell, you can, as soon as you just say, Google said, oh right, he's been looking at porn. <laughs> yeah, no, but be a bit open to your girl, so it's a lesbian porn. Oh, that's probably a fellow to see what he's going to tell you. Then you find out some other. Okay. Yeah. You find out it's. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. But uh, apparently, it's like most smartphones come with a factory reset option, which is designed to wipe and reset the device, return it to the original system. It does. But. I've asked to discover that some older, the older sort of smartphones only erase the, I think it's the indexing of the data and not the actual data itself. Which means pictures, emails, text messages, and all sorts of stuff can be downloaded. Apparently, though, a new company claims that of 40,000 stored photos from 20, 20 phones purchased from eBay, more than 750 were of women at various stages of undress, along with 250 selfies. Selfies of what appears to be the previous owner's manhood. <laughs> so that's a thousand. This is this gets it gets even worse. There was an additional fifteen hundred family photos of children, a thousand Google searches, seven hundred and fifty emails and text messages, and two hundred fifty contact names and email addresses. Deleting you, uh, the company said, "Avast, deleting the files from your Android phone before selling it or giving it away is not enough." Need to overwrite your files, making them irretrievable. The, the thing is, the thing is, people, if you're getting rid of your phone, don't sell it. Don't, don't like do anything. Just smash the crap out of it. And burn no it. one and burn <laughs> it. Burn it with fire. Kill I'm it with fire. Like rap, you know. Well, once I've finished with contract, I'll ask you to burn, burn, baby, burn, burn, da, 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 burn, baby, burn, 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 burn. <laughs> S team single coming on soon. <laughs> Come on soon. <laughs> it's like the EP, the first upcoming album. <laughs> Smashes the charts. <laughs> Some great classes. Stay, stay alive. alive. Stay alive. alive. Ha, 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 ha. Stay alive. And other classes such as Never Gonna Give You Up. <laughs> but seriously, people, just if you're getting rid of your phones, just smash, smash it up, burn it. Do whatever, just don't, don't sell it to anyone. It's not so, isn't it? Okay. He's still going. He's still, he's still, he's still breathing, people. But, uh, mad though, isn't it, when you think about it? Mike. Okay, so Mike's dead. If you want a job on the STM podcast, feel free to write into him and say, oh, he's alive! <laughs> But uh, just uh, before I get onto this as big you say, thing, sorry, I don't know what to talk about. Um, Trinian, a pizza, yeah. friend, uh, actually, you know what? If you want to <laughs> mention that, I'm giving you free pass to do so now and mention it now before I move on. Anyone in the Birkenhead area, right? In the Birkenhead, just say yeah, that. In the, the Birken, in the Wirral Birkenhead area, just say that. In the Wirral area, right? Mm. If I was you, order the pizza. Right. <laughs> and if you see a, if you see a, a, a shop, 
a little chap. He well, looks a bit like half dense sometimes. Five foot eight, five foot nine, round there, yeah. And he has a green beard, Hunter. Which is missing a wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably will if he shows up at yours. Yeah, it's a green, green one, yeah. Oh, the green. Bit dated, like. Fiat yeah. Punto. Right. Two foot wrench. <laughs> what, well, what year? 2000. Yeah, wrench. 2000, people. Right, this is what you do. All the pizza. And then, do you want to give do you want to give people a special code message for them? Yeah. I'll let you come up with it because I've got the book. Wraith, you want to say um, thank you? It is. So, I thought I'd tell people to say it. Is that... I'd like to put a punt on something. Oh, yeah! It's not bad, that. I'd like, yeah, put, just, yeah. just off the cup, that just I'd like to put a head gasket on it. Yeah, something like that. Dude, just say, uh, like, well, I'd like to put a punt on a bet or something. Just, you know, yeah. just like slide something And if you always excuse me, just say, ST brother, ST. Yeah. Or ST bro, there you go. Uh, I don't know, just make up you go Before like. I get into this big thing that I want to talk about, for anyone who's a Doctor Who fan, kind of bad news, the, the videos, the, like the episodes, the spawn, have been uh, leaked. And we talked about this last week. But then some of the scripts have gone out. But um, they've been disappeared. But now there's incomplete episodes of Series 8 have leaked online. But the footage is supposed to be black, black and white and like heavily watermarked. So it's not too bad. But do every anyone who's a doctor, you can really do everything you can to try and get rid of these. Because it, it, it's, you know, it's only next month now when it starts. Oh, oh, sorry. The minute it's Doctor Who, it's everyone, please get rid of them. Yeah, no. Try. But if this minute I like something, I'll just watch it. It's going to be shit anyway, so you might as well When have you it. ever said that on this podcast, actually? Not have on you... the podcast. No, you've never said it, though, have you? I respect no, but if it was me, it'd be like, oh, shit anyway, lad. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You know what I mean? That, like, yeah. I was like, I've watched it. <laughs> but don't watch it anyway. You're a bit crap, lad. Hey, seems interesting. Still shit, though. Now, do you want me to do this big thing, or do you want me to do the weird American news first? Because you're going to be very interested in the big thing. Leave that to the end. Right? I Leave that to the end, so we don't need to do the American news. Yeah. Right? Okay. But the first one you're going to probably laugh at. Let me cut the socks on. I can't physically laugh about it. Yeah. And then start laughing. You go, oh, I'm going to win that one. Mikey, we'll find a way. Help me. This is. This is I tell you what, I've read some things in my time, but out of all the American news, I think this probably could be number one. Now, when you, this woman's had an allergic reaction, but what if she's been allergic to? The most unreal thing. Admittedly, you go to A&E if it's something bad. Do you want me to just say the title? Yeah. What are they choice them at all, so go on. Woman hospitalised for allergic reaction to husband's sperm on the sex sent me to the ER. Oh, yeah, you just heard that right. But you, no, sorry, let me get this straight. Let's speak of it as if it was, uh, we were the fella. You've just shagged the get you know, your missus, right? And she turned the other and I was like, oh. Please put it a little bit more delicately than um, shagged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, you have it says uh, for the second. Just have sexual relations <laughs> with a woman. Relations. Why is this special? I just it? wanted to be trying not use somebody. It's <laughs> really amazing shag. <laughs> Finger blast four thousand. <laughs> I'm not going that far. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, basically, you've had some sexual pleasure with. To get the woman in your life, as you say, and she get, she has like a red mark. You think, Jesus Christ, uh, what happened there? You're looking to think shit, you know, but you know, the thing that comes from my downstairs just happens to be the allergic reaction for her. I'd be quite um, you know, confused because the first thing I kind of think is, whoa, is my sperm like acid or something? Well, it's funny because I go into this, it's like. After their son's birth, the woman developed a ton of allergies and other health issues that stopped them from having sex for a year. And on the husband's birthday, yeah. uh, 
uh, she surprised her with sex, and the couple got an even bigger surprise. This is not just really nice. Done correctly, sex usually leads to a lot of heavy breathing. Yeah, yeah. I can confirm that. Don't tell me she but but sort of she had a much more severe reaction. She mysteriously experienced severe swelling, burning sensation, which means the guy's done his job properly, <laughs> and had breathing difficulties so severe that you know, she's passed out on the way to hospital. Now, either it is, either it is sperm, or he's just done a really good job. <laughs> I want to meet this guy. <laughs> High five. High five, bro. <laughs> just, all I do is just go to America on a plane. Five days from knocking the door and go, Hi, we need a fella. She has, you know, no, she doesn't like she has to go to the hospital. So she she fainted. And he goes, yep, why? Like, High five, bro! <laughs> just say, I'll get back on the plane, like, I right, Jack's gone. <laughs> there, there, is, there is a silver, I was about to say silver lining, and that's a wrong thing for you, but what he you says is, bath. no, I didn't mean it like that, I said doctors, it's, 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 the Americans always try and put a happy thing at the end. Doctor said she can continue to have sex with her husband, provided they use condoms. What's the point of that then? <laughs> <laughs> You want more, more kids? Oh, what are you going to tell your kid when he's older? Uh, you couldn't have a brother or sister, you won't get paid. That's worse than that. It goes over here. It's knowing the kid will be like, I've that. <laughs> so that is mum's knocked out. She knew you are again. Yeah, she acted with her hand on. No, but seriously, that's... I was just going to say one other thing about Americans. Just, we all know smuggling, and they do it in strange ways. But imagine what they've smuggled in this time. Don't tell me. They smuggled in, and then they... We're M -N -E -K. <laughs> don't tell me. They smuggled a dildo into the White House. No. Live parrots smuggled inside Elmo dog. Live parrots smuggled inside an Elmo dog. Bear in mind, people, if you don't know what Elmo is, then you're not a 90s kid. But you definitely got a 2000 kid. No, you're not. And um, the surprise. Yeah, apparently, federal agents inspected a couple of belongings, or a couple's belongings, at an Arizona entry port on the U.S.-Mexico border. Found two live parrots hidden inside an Elmo. Dog. Do you want to click on it? Nah, 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 nah. Only if you click off, she sounds better. Did you like that? Sure, this ain't supposed to talk. You know what I mean? It says the seized birds were placed in quarantine and transferred to apartments of agriculture holding facilities while the couple was fined $300. Yeah. The reason why they were fined is because the border agency said birds entering the country are not to be regulated because of the Vermin and disease, they've got it. You know, if you're bringing them in from another country, yeah. which is understandable. Yeah. It's weird, I thought it was funny. Yeah. Like, I, but, um, yeah. that was, that, that is the, the news in terms of, um, yeah. the news. Yeah. Now we're moving on to, um, stuff that we've been up to. Yeah. I've been up to a couple of things. Yeah, ja things. Jack's been getting busy with ladies on Corporation Road, so, uh, ladies, watch out. The millinators on his way down to sort you know. I thought that was a good little rap there, you know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> People, I mentioned this last week. The review is here. The Titans are up against each other. And for finally, no. I can finally put my no. opinion to this. And Mikey's going to be really attentive when he figures out what I'm going to talk about. It is the RS, isn't it? No, I... I the no, ST. It's the ST versus the Type R. The Fiesta is still the Focus S. Why would I test the Fiesta against the Civic? That'd be... Basically, people, I took well, two, though, two cars out for the new Honda Civic Type R and the Ford Focus ST of 2014, because that's the right... Uh, sort of yeah, balance. but it was a new class though, because the Civic was generally a mini hatch. It's a big car now, not No, but that, do you know what I'm trying it, to say? It was it, back it's then. kind of hard. It's not anymore. It's, it's in the same class as. So, would you consider testing 
the EP3 and so, and the, the oldest, it's Jim and me. I, uh, it's hard to explain, isn't it? Shut the fuck up, isn't it? Yeah, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, guys, so if you want my opinion on cars, you have to wait for like 12 months. <laughs> well, 12 years. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm sitting there, Jack's wedding, like, oh, me, he's only the wrong one for her. <laughs> uh, people, just to give a quick comparison to compare to the old type R, the old type R had 198 brake horsepower compared to now, which it's got a shade. I think, I remember the, 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 the this one has 280, but it's more sort of 276, you can feel it with the I tell you, put the foot down. Is it one of those quite responsive? No, but you know when you put your foot down? I'm Does just, it lag? Is there any lag? I'm through the specifications first. Oh, it? so it people, is. Um, there's more torque, 400 newton meters. Who's got the most torque? Um, I've got to go through all my notes. Oh, so. why couldn't you just done a thingy? Like, chart? Like, yeah, both focus on one side? Oh, uh, no, it's... What the fuck is all this? <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, paperclip. Mount. Yeah, yeah. It's not done yet. Um, you saw you haven't had anyone strapped to this? Oh, no, it? trust me. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard that one before, Bill. The the dealer who I was talking to, he was um, saying how much better the old Type R was. He thought it was one of, one of yeah, one of my other, the new Type R is compared to the old one. Because he said that when you drove the old Type R, you had to put your foot to the floor until it was in revving to about 5,000 RPM before it Free Jack, yo! It, sorry guys, I, I've just got a big thing for Jack. You put, you put, you put, in this car, you put your foot down, and straight away from about 2,000 RPM. Mikey, come on. Open the, do it now. As we wait people for Mikey to try and open something to clean now, there we go. Now, a little over 2,000 RPM until over 5,000 RPM. This thing puts its foot down. I tell you what, this thing is quick. It is really quick. It makes Shagger Bell quick. It, it, put it this way, it makes. Without the tracks, with the traction control on, the traction control just about handles it. It's that, that quick and powerful and like the low, lower ratios, you know, like it is two, one to three. Mm. Um. And the turbo doesn't move the engine either. The sounds are quite good. It's like a sort of um, a deep sort of, you know, like sort of Hello, uh, yeah. not sort of like baritone in a way, if you could put it like that. Oh, um, there is a bit of turbo like that. It is a bit of you got to be. It's like you've got to, you've got to be in the right gear at the right time, otherwise it will drop off. It is that type of car. You can get them adjusted, then, uh, so you can get uh, that. But sometimes it's, it, it, it's the same with the, you know, the GTR. Because they're hand built engines, some of them push like 20, 30 more horsepower than like another one or something. You know what I mean? Mm. Because they're hand built, they're not actually. Whereas like the 370Z and stuff, they were, you know, they're all put onto a uh, thingy and they measure them and they limit them and everything. Whereas, say, the GTR, because they're hand built by a team of specialists. You, each end, like, so one engine can have, say, 450, the one gonna have 480, but it'll be exactly the same spec. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because the hand built engines, it's unpredictable the power difference, you see. So, I drove it, people. It's cool. Okay. How are you doing it? Are you doing a 10, like a 10 star system or a 5 star 10 system? 10 star system. I'm not giving me full review yet. Because there's stuff I want to talk about. The road handling yeah. is a lot better than the old one. Definitely a lot better. Still not great, but it's they've gone back to the independent suspension like they used to have on the, the old generation. EK9. EK9 is the 90s one. No, no, the EP3. The 2000 one, yeah. The RB EP3. They've gone back to that, so it handles a lot better than the old one did. Um, what else? I remember when I put the foot down. North 60 is 6 seconds. So it shifts. But it still rides hard. Sporty, I thought. Yeah, it's not as 
it's not as comfortable as my fourth, but I wasn't expecting it to be anyway. Is it low, is it? Or... It is quite low. Is it? Um, but the, 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 the good point I'll start with. Quick. Nah, I thought it'd be fucking slow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quick for a hot hatch, quick. I mean, properly. But, I mean, it would, it would give it the mother of all impresses of the that's money at that quick. The handling's a lot better than it was. The the, the interior, it's actually quite a nice pleasant place to be. I, I thought I found it quite nice and I loved the the, the um the gear where the gear lever was positioned and the way I, how everything was sort of quite was it like, it's quite, quite organised kind of thing. It wasn't organised but it was simple to use. It's yeah, like I should say it was organised, like simply organised if you get No, it was it, it was quite complicated but once you get used to it. No, but it wasn't the way everything is kind of thing, you know. You need to spend about a week. Yeah, but you're generally going to do that with a new car, aren't you? Generally, we get used to the whole. Well, it's quite. But once you're used to it, I mean, it only took me about an hour and I was pretty much knowing what I was doing with it. Um, the stuff that you get standard are quite good as well. You get loads of stuff with it. And you can add. You can add, um, you can add an extra performance pack with it as well. It gives you like lower profile tires and stuff. That's terrible for the road, just to let you know, because it just <laughs> it just makes the ride impossible. Um, it looks a lot better than the old one. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of like a bit more refined. Um, just some more key specs. It's going to cost about twenty six grand, which is too much for a hot hatch. It's a two, it's a high bar, really. it's, like, it's too much for a hot hatch. Don't care. Yeah, you can get an impressive for thirty grand. New. Don't forget, Honda are now expanding the Civic into the more hot hatch saloon, are they? Yeah, we do. Do you know what I mean? So it's a, it's that next, the, the new one that's coming next year, the new Civic, is going to be is delayed because of the bringing out the Honda Civic Tour. That looks quite nice, that. I actually like that sort of it. Do you know one on the BT? Um, I've got sports feet. Cracking air conditioner, give you that. Yeah. You put it up, boom, straight away, you can feel the bloody thing. It's not like being, <laughs> it's like a fucking icicle. Uh, it's, not like being, it's not like in some cars that I've been in, it's like being coughed on by an asthmatic. It's actually a proper system. I know I'm not, I'm not the type of person, but 40 miles per gallon. Not bad for it. That's a sport, 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 sort of all hot ass. Yeah. I wouldn't use it for kids because the boot space is not like that. I'm not being for you. I know, but for people who do and want a quick car, it's not that type of car for them. You just don't get this type of armor. No. Or kids. Or if you've got like, a list of two the kids they win, you go to work in a type of What I'll say, people, is this is a good car. It's a lot better than the ones that they've refined it a lot more over the last few years. They've had time to do it. But it's still not it's, nowhere near. It could still be improved, kind of thing. Let me put it to you this way: the third best hot hat, the second best hot hatch in the world, is the Volkswagen Golf GTI. Oh, no, in my, um, in my opinion. Oh, uh, I'd say dep depending on the GTI or the R32. The no, because you don't have many R32 anymore. No, well, back then, yeah, I bought it. I mean, as in nowadays. Oh, they make an R36, you know, with the staff. No point. No point. I would give this car a good 7.2. Uh, no, I just, I just think... Like, you can only give it like 7. Uh, point, 7, 75, you can't go... I'm going 7.2, I'm not moving on this. Wow, it's a bit shitty, isn't it? So it's just trying to wait, 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 wait a car. Uh, yeah, we'll say 7, 6.1, you'll go, No, you've got to hold the middle of the... No, 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 um, but well, it's it? a good car. It's a good car to drive. It's, it's not really it's, a family or anything. But it's not. It's not fun. It's more concentrating. That's I felt like I was sort of. I want to have fun when driving a car, as well as being serious. It was almost too serious for me. That's the thing. The Type R is the original and the second generation were all dead fun cars to drive. From the people who've owned them, that I've spoken to. Mm. And he, he said it's more of a focus car now than it ever was. 
It's not a bomb. The one per se is look at the comparisons you know, like the VXR and stuff like that. Oh, it's better than the VXR. It's better than Astro by miles. No, but what I'm trying to say is, is it's that thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is, um, it's that market. You've got the GTI, VXR, Type R, STs. What else? Um, that's it, really. VXR, the Type R, GTI, ST, and the RS. Like the RS. Mm, the RS is sort of in a Ish. different league now compared to everyone else. No, but you know what I mean? They're not like the no. older ones. No. <laughs> I thought oh, RS3. I'm going to move on to now to my full focus review. Oh, I've sampled cool. VTech people just. Did, come on, did, I, you, did you get to five and a half thousand revs and a million unicorns farted at the same time? No, it was five thousand. Well, no, it started, it, five it, started, it started from two thousand, then when it got to five thousand, it sort of just stayed the same. It was like. No, 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 Mike, I do understand because I've driven thing. <laughs> You've never driven a Honda. Okay, I know now I've got my opinion on it. Because you haven't. <laughs> How do you think of cars on cars? I experienced VTEC at 200 RPM. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but, I'm going to go on to my ST review now. Good car though, give Honda credits a lot better than it was. It was a good car. It's a good car. Jack is not trying to be biased, by the way. No, I'm not, I'm not. I, I, I did go into no, this with an, I went into it with an open mind. I know I'm a Ford fan, people, but I did go into it with an open mind. I made sure it was fair. And my dad said exactly the same thing. He didn't really like it that much, people, my dad. Yeah, yes, but he's no, the, the Type R. He said the same thing. He said it's got too many flaws for me, hmm. and I wouldn't buy it. He even said that to me. He was laughing. Yeah, but, to be fair, your dad... Is an honest person. When he drive. doesn't like something, he will he tell will you. Say, he yeah. won't go, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. That means he, you. I think my our dads are from like that generation where if you didn't like it, you just said you mm. don't like it. Whereas the people we know, like our like, generation, there's people like, oh, yeah, I don't like that. And they go, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Show on some fun. <laughs> Um, just some quick specifications here. They've gone down from like the old two and a half litre to a two litre. To be fair, it is a bit fucking much. It was a, it was a, but well, power's gone up. Fact, the the power's gone up. From 220, what it was, is now 247. They're probably using the Volvo step up then. Uh, no, this no. is from the SVT team. I've done this. Special vehicle. Team, yeah. Um, it's only available it's only front wheel drive, it's, they've always have been really, so it's not really much, I don't know why people have been going, mm, that's the downside I reckon, I've never been too fussed about that with the Ford, I've been no, but compared to it in a, if you race, I, no, I'm not going to say you're going to race it, do you it does, it's, it's just, car though, really. no, but you know what I mean, it's like a sporty like, performance hatch, that's where the Honda is kind of has that upper level, because it's four wheel drive in it, the Civic, type R, they're all full, um, the new one, four wheel drive. Mm, Twenty fourteen one. Yeah, I'm sort of saying the new four one. Drive. Which is the one that I've got. Is it from wheel? I think it's four wheel. Not oh, very awesome. And um, two hundred forty-seven brake horsepower. But the thing, the thing with this compared to the old ST is that this one, when I was talking, the running costs of it are so much more cheaper than it was with the old ST. I mean, yeah. you're looking at fuel consumption's a lot better. I think it's MPG, up to then. 52 MPG. That's from an ST, the from an ST, never mind. That's good for the Focus, never mind. An ST. Well, no, my Focus does quite well. No, but the new, like, after, you? your S, after your Focus, they were bad. Like, the engines and stuff. But it's then only because they were two and a half litre, though. That's no, but, why. Yeah, really. That's what I'm trying to say. They were, they were bad, but then these new ones are actually really good. Do for um, reliability and stuff like that, whereas, like, after your one, after your shape focus and the same, you know, the Fiesta and the one there, they went bad for a bit, like mm. two or three years, and then the next shape came out of all three, sorry. And they were really, they're actually like, quite good cars, do you know what I mean? 
I don't need dragon really much. But fifty two MPG I got out of it. That's pretty good. Which is bear in mind. That's better. Well, this ST, this new ST, is probably one of the best cars I've ever driven. Like Jesus Christ. Christ, it bloody flies. You, you guys just said this Type R was quick. This. this is... it, the problem with the Type R is heavy. That, that probably And this focus that. is lighter, and it's a five-door as well, compared to the Civic, which is three. Is it a three-door? The Civic's a three-door. I thought you, you can get this one, five-door. You can get yeah. three of the one I drove with the Oh, it, it, you can only get the focus as a five door. You can only buy it as a five door, the ST. You put your foot down, and it just it fly. just goes. No 65.9 seconds. But it feels like. Really, Mike? In my little sanity towel. I believe I need an SD. <laughs> oh. I get carried away. And, uh, the handling is even better now than it ever was. It's even better than mine. It's so good, and the way it delivers is. No talk, Steve. There is a little bit on the type of. But the 276 weight horsepower and stuff. You're going to expect it. And this has only got 247, which is just below. With 30, 35 horsepower underneath mm. the glass. You've got that. Mm -hmm. The road handling is just. Is it the same as the Type R? Is it a lot more. Oh, the the it's so much more better. The I more mean, you can, literally, you can chuck it in and it'll stay there. You chuck it in with the Type R, it'll stay there. Like it'll but you've got, the road. To, you've got to get used to it. Yeah. The, the ST just gives you confidence to put your foot down. And the route that I was using is quite a good route. Yeah. I won't say where it is because that reveals the location of the dealerships and there might be laws and stuff and I'd rather not go into that. Yeah. But it's a looker. You, you look at it. Which hall was it? Was it the, like, we, had, we had ours was in dark blue. And you look at it and you think, what about the type of I was red. I'm off these days, I love that. It looked nice and red. It's the best colour it was in. It was alright, I, I don't know if it's been like the blue, but I like the silver. If you get me like, not like the bright silver, but like a darkish grey silver. So as I was driving this thing, I was sitting there thinking, this is a good car. This is a car that I could buy in a couple of years. It's to the point where, if I had money, I would go and buy it. I would... It, it was that... If you had money, would you sell the uh, GT3? No, I wouldn't sell it to you. But, um... Why not? No. <laughs> I'd say it's got some really good stuff interior wise it's a lot it, there's more there's a lot more to it than there is in the Type R and it is a little bit more complicated and Mikey's now crying because many reasons <laughs> <laughs> you even oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. um I might be far fine, but I'm not fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but it is a little bit complicated, but it's a cracking, they've got heads up display, sat nav comes standard in the mm -hmm. ST. Yeah, you get like um, MP3 players, single shot CD, stuff like that. Oh, um, like you pull in like the iPod and stuff? Yeah, iPod connectivity, it's yeah. Every, every Ford comes I know, but you can't get it on the type R. You can get it. You can get. You can get iPod connectivity, but it's uh, over Bluetooth. Not over. You can actually charge the thing up while you go. I, I like both, really. I like both. We're nineties um, kids, though, so we like we we, we, we use like this. <laughs> yeah, we expect like you the cigarette lighter. Like Do you remember that? A charge your phone or your Game Boy with a cigarette lighter. Like I was talking to the, um, as, 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 as I was driving, there, I'm, try, I'm trying to, as I was driving along, and I was, what's up on that? Oh, I don't know. As I was driving along, I was following my dad. And, um, yeah, we all, it was, it, I tell you what, people, this car is just, it handles its power well. I can't even speak. <laughs> it's one of those things that's a bit just... It wants you to go from round two, kind of thing. The one that, the one that we had was... 
Go on to 60, 6.5 seconds. You can get that boost with it if you want to, but there's, there's no point. It's enough as it is. If you're happy with it, yeah. It, yeah. I, I mean, and the, it's quite funny because when you drive it, you know, normally if you really want to rev it and you want to get the best pleasure out of something, you rev it right to the way, don't you? Well, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Experimental yeah. pin. But if you short stick in this car, it feels so cool. It's just, it's a mad little. Yes, these are the people in the leaf. Oh, I haven't been. Always wondered about that. The noise, the noise. At uh, 6,000 and a half RPM, because it goes to just under 7,000. Jeez, the noise is on another level. It is the best sounded noise I've heard from a hot hatch yes. since the RX. And the RX made a lovely pair. This car is, it, it, it's sort of a, it's deep. But it's real. looking amazing. I'll tell you something interesting, of course. But you know something, you know, and you know, Ford engineers have gone. We know we want to reward the driver. They've actually pumped the noise into the back of the dashboard so you can hear it properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're so good. This is why I need my license like, right now. Just so I can take it down to work. Yeah, to work. If I get a job, I'll be like, I'm not well and all this. <laughs> Just walk into a dealer. The, the, only, the, only, the only light, slight little thing I'd say is that at low red, revs. It's like a little bit of a reluctance to get going. Yeah. It's really low rev though. But from a two litre engine. To be fair, I, 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 I'm not going to like take the piss out of you with the review yet. But I, I take it like quite, you know, well, fair enough. You can honestly know you got a third car. But like, I wouldn't rule the VXR out. It'll be one of those cars that have to have a go at. Whereas, do you like, you, you like your big cars, like your focuses and stuff? You know, I'm, not, I'm not taking this out of me. What I'm trying to say is, like, your your style of car is different to mine. You know I mean? like, oh, yeah, we I'm, know that, yeah. You're more into like, the focus. Like, it's the hatch. It's a hot hatch, but it's a family hot hatch, if you get me. I mean, the hot size hatches are always supposed to be about quick and family, though. That's... No, but you know what I mean? Like, the focus. The new focus, you know, yeah. being a fire door and stuff like that. Whereas I'm, like, the little hatches. Do you know what I mean? But, like, well, what I'm saying is, it, it's up to you if you want to do it. I'm not saying do it, because it, well, to be fair, it's unfair. Unless you've driven a VX, you've asked for VXR, you can't go, well, shit. Look, everyone knows the shit, but it's just, you know, it's one of those things, you can't let you slate something if you haven't tried it, like you said you were to me. You can't say it's shit without giving it a go. You can't, like, it's like food. If you don't like Chinese food, if you've tried it, fair enough, you don't like it. But that's the same with a car. You can't turn around and go, shit, I don't like it. You, you might not like it, but if you give it a go, the way it drives and stuff, the way it feels, well, actually, this is a really good car. It's just it's just the way, you know, you think, well, like, I know people who love Vauxhalls and stuff, you don't like this. And you like Fords. And they've had to go with Fords and it's, well, this is actually really good, this. Dude, they've enjoyed it. More than the, the voxels, you know, something like that. It's basically what I'd recommend to you, mate, is if you just give it a go. I'm not telling you, oh, just do it. But if you give it a go, and then you see what the fuck you want then. You know what I mean? I'm not going to. Because that's what I'm going to do. When I get myself sorted, I'm going to at least test the ST, the Type R, and the VXR. And the course of the Astra. I'm probably going to be testing in a few months. The course of the VXR. No, the Astra. I test the bigger hatches. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather have like, the little ones. Like, I'll probably go for like the courses. Like course of VXR. What I will say is though, just where I just carry on with my review. Yeah. The one thing that I wasn't too keen on is that it's... Which one? The ST? Is it? On the ST. Yeah. And I kind of liked it in the Civic is that the Ford has electric assisted steering. Oh, in. Which isn't as rewarding as it is. I, I felt like I still love driving it, but it was just thought if I was driving it with a proper hydro power, power, power seat, I'd have loved it more. I'd have loved it. Even. That feel the road but, though, is and it? it's that it's exactly it's that thing. But I can understand why they it's, used it. Yeah. It's wor- it. It works, but I think I'd get more pleasure. I mean, I love it so much yeah. fun. These two types of cars, like the the drives car, they're made to feel. Sporty, do you know what I mean? 
Oh, and so with Ford gone in the whole electric, he's cheaper mm-hmm. and it's less maintenance. But in the long run, it's more expensive. Was it fifty-two manufacturing or six forty-six? On the ST. On the ST, you know, yeah. Yeah, but, what is it? yeah but I, I just what you say you need more. Uh, but like personally, I want to try and be like since you by the end of the year. If I can, I am definitely tested. Because I, well, I want to put this to bed now. There's one car I need to test. I two cars I need to test. I want to test an LE. Not because, you know, I, so then I go, well, I like it. But I don't like it anyway. Because I've, I've, I've drove a course so when I was the kind of way I'm not dry. And to be fair, it's quite it's comfortable. And it's quite, you know, oh, it's alright, you know, driving wise. But I'd like to be able to give. The LE I go, the Fiesta, um, not the ST. It's like the, it's like the older. I think it's the older ST, not the current Fiesta. The F sixteen. I think so. Yeah, it's like a Z Tech. Yeah, the Z Tech. Yeah, that it's is not the as, one. It's, it's not. It's a sick. It's not an F sixteen hundred, but I know. It's, yeah, it's, it's just an X. I think. It looks nice. That one. I'd like to test that one. Um, definitely a course of the XR. One car out of the door to drive. I love the way Mikey strokes the top of my review. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's right. a bit off, like 10 minutes, I'll just sit there, it's like, well, you know, what's the point? <laughs> but, um, is it, is it, is it decent, decent, I mean, the ride's firm, but it's not uncomfortable. It's one of those, yeah, it's one of them you, you easily, are. It's one of them you could, you could drive it around town, you'd, you'd easily be able to live with it. It's not some. I mean, unless you're 19 and frail, it, would, it wouldn't cause a problem for you. I'd say that. I, I would say it's a cracking entry for the forward, and they've done a cracking job of it. But there's still things you can. There are some. With every car, there's something you can do. Yeah. Well, the MGs, the MGs, the K series, and. Stuff good. like that. Yeah. Either as a review, I'd give it an 8.6. It wouldn't get a 9. I just, I just, it's a bit, when you attack my car on the road, I know it's, I know this is only like a 1.6 compared to a 2 litre and there's no turbo or anything, but when you attack in my car, you can really feel it. go for it. You feel confidence with it. And you can do the same with the ST. It's just a bit softer when you sort of attack into it, which is, it's bizarre the way it works. But, just, it's something, there's something I can't quite put my finger on that's bugging me, and I can't give it that nine that I want to give it, but I'd give it an 8.6 because it's a cracking job they've done with it. Um, as you say, yeah. But, uh, fair play to Ford and Honda, you've both made yeah, good well. and great cars respectively. And I finally, I finally decide, I now know, understand why you go on about VTEC. What does VTEC not... stand for? I don't know what it stands for. <laughs> okay. Valve Time and Electric Control. Here's a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> well done. What do you mean a bow on me, dickhead? <laughs> no, but, um, to be fair, I respect sa- you for taking the time. I've now sampled days. it, yeah. yeah. And you I'm can't now, say sorry. Valgo Arshul. Okay. Well, I can say that now, and I've got a legitimate reason to back yeah, it up. Yeah, I'm not saying, you know. But like, what I'm trying to say is, you know, you've got that reason. If you like it, you don't like it, I respect Oh, I do like it. Got... No, but it's not as much as the ST. It's again. not when... It's like... But the refinement. It did... Even though S... SVT has had less time. It feels like it's more refined yeah, than VTEC. Yeah, to be fair. Because Honda... Honda have had the 20 odd years. So, forget. The VTEC came out in 95. Yeah, yeah, yeah 95 on the bikes. And the SVT came out in... When the ST came out. Yeah, the SVT has been very long, isn't it? Well, either way, it doesn't matter. SVT has been there since the 90s. Because the SVT did the F-150 pickle. On to Fast and Furious, that's an SVT F-150. Yeah, no, that's 2001. Man. Yeah, still. No, but I know what you're trying to say, but... Anyway. Um. <laughs> hey, Felfrey.
Oh, okay, fair enough. I'll give you that. They have been doing it for 10 more years, so that's why it feels more refined. I just thought it was later for some reason. It was on the record as well, you're right. Fair play to you, man. They need two other things I want to talk about. The stuff, the stuff that I've got up to this week. I've got up to this week. You know when you get stuff in your eye? And oh, flip it, and you, you just you just pull it out. Yeah, you've got your optician to see if your eyes still work. <laughs> I, I got something went in my eye because of one of these gardens. It was stuck in my eye for about five hours. That bad. You know, it got to the point where my dad went, do you want me to take you to the hospital after we've done this garden? Because it was that bad, it was stuck in my eye and I couldn't get it out. Yeah. So I said to him, no, I want to still have it, fine. I said that, and then like five minutes I went, oh, you've got it out. So they've got it out, I've got it out really. <laughs> Jumped in the bath later on. Just, so this is what you do, people, because there's no point in going. I sort of go, oh, just use the eye, wash it up, smash your face into the water. Just do that. No, no, rub your no, eye. No, it flies out. No, that's the wrong advice to give. You don't just go. <laughs> no, I mean put your face in the water. Yeah. Okay. So hold make your sure your eyes open. Yeah. Then. Hold your breath and then just lower the face of the human body into the water and then just. Like, put your finger in the eye, move it around, and that's it, all the stuff comes out. It was horrible, though, because when I was trying to get it out, and I didn't have anything to get it out with, yeah. the whole eye went red shot, bloodshot, it was that bad. It was horrible. It was so, it was so painful. You said you had something you were up to this week. Mention it quickly, and then I'll say the last thing, and then we're done. Basically, um, just uh, shit, mate, you uh, Trying to figure figures out, you know, just watching it. But one thing that did sort of, um, get me this week is, do you know, did you hear about the Toy Match? It's not Toy Match, but is it in Bidston? <laughs> by the church? Yeah, by the video? Yeah. Road collapsed? Oh, we were actually. Was that a little fuck off, huh? Mm-hmm. The whole fucking road gone. <laughs> So it opens next week, isn't it? Yeah. You can comment on that next week, are you? That looks stupid when you are eating. Oh, is it? Is there anything else? Is that it for you? As long as anything's there, yeah. Surprised you don't have to open it, actually. I actually do want to go to the open, I've always wanted to go. The old day, every year, don't we? Yeah. Every two, three years. Uh, I had it in 2012. Can I? Is it any else? Like for you, is that it? Um, I've got one last thing. Which no, is more de- need, no more de- 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 no more yeah, you don't, okay, I mean, I mean like, you I'm see mad. some people, you see some people maybe 30 quid, but they've got like law chairs and stuff like that. No. Yeah, yeah I should do, you just walk out with your dinner, a couple of law chairs, and the odd table and everything. Yeah, but you see them, they sell <laughs> fences and stuff, don't they? So, yeah. you'd, you'd understand that. that people, can... I was in home bargains, I was stuck in this key for 20 minutes. Do you know how much this couple spent in front of me? Hundred and fifty pounds thirty four pence in home bargain. If I'd understand if it was Tesco or any big supermarket, or BBQ or no, it was all food. It was all food. There was no, there was no like debt chair. There were not every single thing was food or like tissue wipes or stuff. That was it. I'd never seen anyone spend a hundred and fifty quid, well, a hundred and fifty pounds twenty four pence. In home bargain. I was stunned. I was in there. I was like, I've only got one thing. Oh, no, I've only got one thing. I'm in this queue for 20 minutes. Bear in mind, being home bargain, don't bother to put any sodder on the flipping queue. One person. One person. There's like six people behind me. I'm just putting there thinking, I wouldn't mind if, like, there were other people on the tails. But the fact that, but the fact that there was no one there, and it was 150 pounds. What the fuck would you buy in everything in the shop? Just tons of food. And since the woman who joked with the woman, oh, you, you shop like once every three months, yeah, you picked your time, didn't you? Once every three months. Once every three months, 150 quid worth of food. I was like, gee, Christ. Unreal. 
couldn't believe it on seen it. Once every three months, while mopping his pony, where the hell do you get your bread and your milk from? I can tear around and say, don't, don't the drink. Big shop. But anyway, I just wanted to say that, people, because everyone understands no one spends that much in bloody home bargains, ever. But, um, yeah, that's our podcast for this week. Been a good one. Been a good one. As usual, we're, like, debating all the time, so that makes it even better. It's quite shit, no. Um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can follow uh, me, Jack Mountain, at JackTM53. You can follow Mikey at Corporation Road. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Corporation Road off the Widow Mess, you know, just means you're off seven. But you get yeah, it. Mikey Keaton XD, isn't it? Yeah. You can like us on Facebook, we always leave the. Um, Link in the description and and Jack did fix that fix those bad way um, guys yeah after, I fixed like, that months to, ago yeah but that was after we we put it to a Spanish like band I was like Jack you do realise I didn't realise yeah that was quite funny though you know like, what nah, nah, nah. and then and I clicked it I was like hey <laughs> what the fuck is this these Spaniards coming in here nicking our podcast <laughs> why have we got all these like views all of a sudden hey it's uh, 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 I can't do a Spanish accent, so I'm going to relate uh, to my Colombian one. Uh, Hello, it's day long. I have a meeting with my boss from Colombia at nine. Hello, bingo. You don't like your camera right here. But, um, anyway, that's it, people. Thanks very much for listening. And what, what podcast? 40. So you've done this since March. Yeah. And it's only going to get better in September, so. And on that note, thanks very much for listening. <laughs> we'll leave the AST. <laughs>